I and my colleagues Yo y mi colega, have been in prison for almost 30 years. Casi 30 años. And uh, that period appeared to us to have been remarkably short. Y en ese, y ese tiempo nos pareció que era irrevocablemente corto. Because uh, we knew that uh, we have strong friends almost everywhere in the world. And one of those friends uh, who has been very consistent and whose voice has been very clear has been that of Comrade Fidel Castro. We have never uh, doubted that uh, we in him and in Cuba, we have a dependable friend. Nunca dudamos por un instante de que en él y en Cuba teníamos un amigo en el cual podíamos perfectamente confiar. From the point of view of size and population, Cuba is a small country. Del tamaño de su población, Cuba es un país pequeño. But uh, it is exercising an impact on world affairs, which is similar to that of the superpower. En los asuntos del mundo, similar al de la superpotencia. And Cuba has shown that uh, it is just not the question of the size of a country, but its policy and the caliber of its leaders. That is important. We have benefited tremendously from the lessons of the Cuban Revolution and from what Cuba is doing, especially in Africa. And uh, we, in this part of the continent, were tremendously impressed by the role which uh, uh, Cuba played in the liberation of Angola. The Angolans themselves have done a great deal uh, to win their freedom. But uh, it is difficult uh, to accept that uh, they would obtain their freedom at the time when they obtained it, if uh, Cuba had not committed its forces and resources, you see, towards the liberation of that country. South Africa, which occupied the part of Angola, would still have been in Angola if uh, Cuba had not taken you see, the bold decision of uh, challenging South Africa. The entire world, and particularly South Africa, will never forget the lessons of uh, Quito Canavale because that was the turning point in the military situation in this region. We also uh, feel that uh, Namibian independence would have been very impossible, very difficult to achieve if uh, Cuba had not acted uh, so courageously and decisively in Angola. The South African army would still have been there and it would have been difficult to see to get to the liberation of this country. We are therefore indebted uh, to Cuba. We would like to thank uh, Fidel, uh, Comrade Fidel Castro and the people of Cuba for the support that they have given us. We also appreciate the sacrifices they have made in Angola in order that uh, this day should come. And uh, as I have already said, I don't think this day would have come were it not uh, for the assistance that has been given by the people of Cuba to the struggle of the Namibian people. Today, this is revolutionary Cuba, internationalist Cuba, the country that has done so much for the peoples of Africa. We have long wanted to visit your country and express the many feelings that we have about the Cuban Revolution, the role of Cuba in Africa, Southern Africa, and the world. The Cuban people hold a special place in the hearts of the people of Africa. 
the Cuban internationalists have made a contribution to African independence, freedom and justice, unparalleled for its principle and selfless character. When you, Comrade Fidel, yesterday said that our cause is your cause, I know that that sentiment came from the bottom of your heart.